We'll move on down to Monroe, Louisiana, and Terry Bowden and his bunch, the ULM or Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, went four and eight last year. And when I went back and looked, their postgame win expectancy, by the way, was almost exactly what their what their record was: uh, three point seven two and eight point two eight. So four and eight there. When I look at this roster, I have no idea how this team won four games last year. I have no idea how they were competitive against the teams that they were competitive against. I don't know how they beat Liberty, etc. I understand turnovers. Uh, the ball is oblong and bounces funny. I get all that. But good gracious. Um, they lose some pretty important pieces, both on offense and defense. Uh, offensive line, they lost uh, Willie Tyler. I mean, defensive line, they lost uh, Miles Cole to transfer. They lost Ty Shelby. The quarterback, Rhett Rodriguez, is gone. Um, both the starting quarterback or cornerbacks, excuse me, transferred out. And this is this is rough. This is going to be rough. Um, let's start off with the offense. The new OC, Matt Kubik, he was the OC at ULM from 2016 through 2019. He comes in and replaces Rich Rodriguez. The sophomore quarterback, Chandler Rogers, he was kind of a do everything in 2021. And I kind of expect him to do the exact same thing. He had 139 rushing attempts. He had 175 passing attempts. And he was pretty good passing the ball. 63% uh, completion percentage, 1,311 yards, 9 TDs, only 3 interceptions. He didn't play all year. Uh, Rhett Rodriguez played quite a bit. Uh, I believe he suffered a collapsed lung against somebody. Uh, and I cannot remember who it was. But regardless... Uh, Chandler Rogers was was pretty good, and moving into his sophomore year, you should see some improvement. Offense was not super efficient, uh, but they didn't settle on the quarterback until late in the year. Eight wide receivers that are coming back had 250-plus snaps, but my goodness, do you need some help with the offensive line. Their rushing success rate last year was number 129 in the country. Their passing success rate was number 125 in the country, and their PPA per drive on offense was number 122. Like, you've got some returning production. you got 68% returning production. The issue is that Rich Rodriguez left and became head coach of the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. And when you're losing somebody that has such a specific type of offense, does Matt Kubik come in and run the exact same thing? Or does all of this experience have to learn a brand new system? In which case, are they more suited for that? Maybe these numbers will improve or... Do they get confused between the two and they have to come up with something different and maybe the numbers even take a bit of a dive? Which I don't know how you take a dive from these numbers, but regardless, almost anything would be better than what they were last year. The defense, they've got a new defense coordinator because Rich Rod took the D.C. Zach Alley with him to Jacksonville State. The D.C. is Jay Hobson, former Southern Miss head coach, and that is a man that certainly knows a thing or two about defense for sure. Uh, They are losing 10 of 18 players that had 250-plus snaps. Three defensive tackles with 200-plus snaps are back. But only one defensive end and two linebackers have experience, and the talent doesn't look great. I'll certainly say that. Secondary was not good last year. They were number 113 in defensive passing success rate allowed. Uh, That's not good. They were number 119 in QBR allowed. There's no transfers in in the secondary. Only two players are returning with 250-plus snaps. Maybe Jay Hobson likes them like that. Maybe it's guys that he can mold the way that he wants to, where they haven't already gotten a bunch of different fundamentals from somebody else. Maybe, I guess. I I don't know. I don't know the way that they're going to do this. Um, They do have wide receiver Boogie Knight coming back, which is an all-time name. (laughs) Absolute all-time name. Uh, But I still, I, I looked at this, and I don't know how this team won four games last year. Uh, Terry Bowden is going to miss Rich Rod and the D.C. The turnover margin uh, was pretty good. That's a big reason why they were able to win some of those games. They were number 52 in turnover margin. And if they continue to not beat themselves, they were number three in penalties per game. You know, they they need improvement everywhere else. So continue to do the fundamental stuff, like not beat yourself with penalties and turnovers. And, and you just got to get better. And I don't know what the right way to go about this is, but I I don't have a great outlook on this season. I have Louisiana Monroe at 1-11. and And by the way, I'm going to give Chris's uh, records on this whenever he gets back from vacation. So, 
Um, but yeah, one and eleven. That's that's what we're looking at here. I don't feel great. I've got them beating Nichols, but I mean their non-con is at Texas, at Alabama. Uh, you know they have to play at Army as well. I mean this is just ridiculous. Uh, to go along with that, you know when your home schedule sets up this way, where you have to play Louisiana, uh, Coastal, uh, Texas State, and Southern Miss at home. That means all these other Sun Belt teams you got to play on the road. And that's just, that's not good. Not good. So, yeah, 1 and 11 for Louisiana Monroe. Um, it's not great. And I know that that's not what Warhawks fans want to hear, especially after showing signs of life last year. But that roster didn't get better. I, I'll, I don't know, at least not from what I can tell. Obviously, we'll see a lot more once we get into the season. Uh, and maybe Taylor Rogers is the next coming to Cam Newton, but I'm I'm not going to bet on it, for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.